to Country Sampler on video. There's no simpler way to change up the look of a room than swapping out the accent pillows. If you're like me, you like to do this when the seasons change or just when your room needs a quick refresh. So we've come up with a way that won't break the bank by using dish towels to create a simple no-sew pillow. For this project, you'll need a dish towel, a pillow form, some fusible hemming tape, some fabric glue, scissors, and buttons for embellishment if you'd like. Before you begin your project, make sure that you launder your dish towels to remove any sizing so that your glue will adhere properly. And then you're going to want to press the towels so they're nice and smooth and wrinkle free. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to fold the long selvage edge under and press to make sure that you have a spot to put the fusible hemming tape and it, an easier guideline for it. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side of your towel. When that's done, take your fusible tape and extend it along the long ends and then cut a piece. You can cut a piece for each side at the same time if you'd like, using that first piece as a guide. And then just sort of tuck the tape under the edge, fold it over, and press to adhere. Make sure you press down real firmly. Go ahead and flip the piece over, iron on the opposite side. you'll repeat that process on the other long end of the dish towel. Next, make sure your towel is the wrong side up with the edges that you just hemmed visible. You can take the bottom of the towel and fold it about two-thirds of the way up to make the bottom pocket. And when you do this, make sure that you're aligning the edges and lining up any pattern that you have on your towel, like the stripes I have on mine here. Then you're going to repeat the process you did when you hemmed the sides but just with these pockets. So you're going to go ahead and cut a piece of tape for each side. And then tuck it in between and press. And make sure it's all lined up along this edge. And so the pattern is lined up as well. And then go ahead and press that to adhere just like you did with the other side of the tape. Kind of checking, sometimes it can slip a little bit. So if you haven't gotten it quite adhered, just make sure things are still lined up and that your tape is in place. Sometimes that hemming tape will slip around. You just want to firmly press. That's all adhered and you're going to repeat the same thing over on the opposite side of your towel. At this point, you've got the bottom pocket for your pillow. You're going to want to tuck your pillow in to make sure you can see where you want to have that top flap go and how to cut the hemming tape. So just kind of tuck your pillow in. Take just a little wiggling. pillow in there and then bring over the top flap, line up the fabric again and then 
use that fold to kind of estimate the length of your hemming tape. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect but close. And then cut a couple pieces of the tape, one for each side. And then you'll take your pillow back out because it's really hard to iron with the pillow in there. And then start from the top. Fold it over and do one side at a time, line things up. Line the hemming tape up in there. Make sure your pattern's all aligned and go ahead and iron it just like you did before. Now that the bottom pocket is finished and you fold it over the top flap, it's time to insert your pillow. in there and position it the way you want it. And now that it's all done, we're going to finish the last part of gluing it together, although you might even be able to get away with not gluing it at all if you want to be able to take the pillow out. But I chose to glue it together and I did use the uh, fusible fabric glue because it's just too high, hard to iron and you just want to be very sparing with the glue and kind of dot it in there and press down as you go continuing across the pillow. So now your pillow is basically done and you've got this back flap you can leave it as is because you might like the plain look. You can embellish it with any type of um, little, could be a little crochet doily, it could be a button. I chose to put on buttons. You can go ahead and glue those on with your fabric glue or with some, some uh, craft glue or you can go ahead and stitch them on because it's pretty simple even if you're not good at sewing. You could probably sew on a button or you could add a different type of embellishment like a ribbon trim or you might even decide that you'd like to display the pillow with just the plain side on the front. Um, you could leave it as is again or you could add a stencil or some other type of design or embellishment. It's really up to you um, to create something that will fit in with your home and your style. We hope you've enjoyed the Snow Sew Pillow Project. For more great ideas, pick up the newest copy of Country Sampler on newsstands today or head on over to countrysampler.com for more great ideas. We'll see you next time on Country Sampler on Video.